Next time I'll rip your fucking legs off and shove them up your ass till you've toes for teeth. Gear out in the nick of time, as always. Zoltan, with your boot to someone's ass, as always. Who were those men? Local color. I wasn't going more than a moment. Long enough for them to turn our home into theirs. All right, time for some spring cleaning. I've got to boot them all out. Care to join me? With pleasure. I'll kill him! What? Lost your nerve? Oh. No! Leggings! Oh, that reminds me of a case of war. Heck. Yeah, almost like we never left Bergen. That's it, you're in for it! Oh. I'm pleased. That went well. Now we can greet each other like the gods ordained. Ages, pal. Hey, Zoltan. You look good. Training plenty lately. What with the war on, no Mahakaman meat to be found, but Redanian lagers standing in just fine. You, though, you've weathered a bit. Something worrying you. <sighs> Got some problems. Rather not burden you. Fuck off, Geralt. Need to spill your guts to me now. I'm looking for Siri. I know she came to Novigrad. Might still be here. You mean she's come back? I'll be damned. I wonder if I'd recognize her. How many years is it now? Six? Seven? But... What'd she be doing here? Hiding, probably. She might be in danger. See her in your dreams? Couple times. Her and the Wild Hunt. Oh. Not good. Not at all, but I know she came here and contacted Dandelion. <sighs> we have a wee problem, then. There's a few things. Let me guess. Triss? Yennefer, by chance? Triss and I talked. Cleared some things up. As for Yennefer, well... So you found her? Ha! Need to tell me all about it. I will. Some other time. Got something a tinge more important to take care of now. Meaning? Where's Dandelion? Ha! <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. Maybe he can explain what the hell's going on. I just barely returned, as you saw. Expecting to come home to your hot leg of boar and some cold ale, what do you find instead? A shite storm! Dandelion gone, the tavern chock full of bums. Have no clue what happened. Mm -hmm. Let's look around. Might find something that'll put us on his trail. Prime idea. I say we start on the ground floor. It's where he sat and wrote. Sound dry, five cases of sodden triple mead. Hmm, nothing here. No, 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 that's exactly what we're looking for. It says planner. Huh, <laughs> dandelion and planning, good one. Besides, anything he wrote here probably had a special system. Chaos only he could ever decipher. Actually, in the past, sometimes not even that. Give him a chance. Might not be that bad. Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. Bookkeeping among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings, official and private. So, who'd he been seeing of late? Ah, here it is. Hmm. 
Seems he's only been meeting women of late. The dog. Zoltan, please. You really want to track down the women Dandelion's been wooing? Most likely all angry women by now. Got any better ideas? Besides, Dandelion's a babbler. I'm sure to know something of his doings. Hmm. We should divide these somehow. Perhaps... Ah, fuck it. I'll ask the lassies in my half, you interrogate the ones in yours. So, che. Zoltan, wait. This is in verse. And you figure that's unnatural because... Wonderful. Meet me back here when you're done. Share our findings. Right, you are. Need to do a wee bit of tidying for a go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to read your bit before you scurry off. If you need anything, I'll be next door. The faculty of Oxenfurt University is honored to grant Julian Alfred Pankratz, Viscount de Letinov, the title of Master of the Seven Liberal Arts.
still here? Looking for something? Ah, just checking to see that everything's in place. Buggers might have hold something off for pawning. Actually, glad you're still here. Wanted to ask you about someone. Though well she knows the touch of silk and lace, she shuns not straw when gripped in lust's embrace. Molly, keeps things tidy for the Baroness Lavalette. A Baroness within reach and he settled for a chambermaid? Dandelion's not one to judge folk by their station. You know that. Like he says, in the alcove, we're all equals. Yeah, guess a true poet observes life in all its aspects, examines it from all perspectives. If I didn't know him better, I'd say he was jealous about this Marabella. Oh, I doubt it. Former pupil. And, <laughs> well, the tales he told me about her. Doubt I want to hear them. Probably better off not. Things between them took a turn for the strange at some point. Meaning? She had him wearing mummer's costumes. Took to calling him Christian. Referring to herself as Anastasia. Huh. Truly perverse. She did a kind of half of it. Called him a stallion once. That's the fool took it as a compliment. Till she pulled a bit in the reins into her cupboard. <laughs> Poor bastard fled out the window. Vespula. Name rings a bell. She threw his knickers out the window. That's her. Hollered something about him being a scoundrel with a voice like a consumptive pheasant. That's her. Threw flower pots at him. Guess soul flames never die. Like a rose abashed of its crimson hue, fair Rosa would sink into humor's blue. She shunned her lessons in civility to swing her dwarf with agility. Dwarf. Never suspected he'd be so humble. <laughs> Dwarfs what Rosa of Atre named her Guigir. Well chosen, eh? All right. But Var Atra? Her dad happened to be the Nilfgaardian ambassador? Yes. You know him? Wouldn't say that. Had a brief conversation with him at the palace in Vizima. Well, then you've a good notion of the kind of bloke he is. Commissioned Dandelion to tutor Rosa and her sister in the art of rhetoric. But we, Rosa, preferred swordplay. How dare she reject the great bard in favor of a common swordmaster? Well, then one, it seems. Week on week, we get fresh gossip about her thrashing another instructor. So bad he resigns. Word has it her dad's now looking to hire our next victim. I mean, instructor. A figure most rare, her nature dual. Look deep in her eyes or be made a fool. Well, well. Seems fascinated with this one. Ah, uh, not without reason. Never been much for elven women myself, but this one's exceptional. Dare say Francesca Finderbeard be jealous. You want to take this one, then? Nah, you can have her. Why? You see, elven beauty is like a young Beauclair wine, whereas I prefer vodka straight up. Well, know about all I wanted to know. Thanks for your help. He's a war veteran. Lice it, you, you mangy dwarf. Oh, let it go, Jarrett. Come on, we need another place to hunker down the knights. Maybe we all try the King of Beggars. Oi, what are you knights? Look at me. Let's go. I look like a cow and beggar to you. I'm a citizen. Temporarily uh, short of a pimp. Another uh. drift of infantilaria. Something unusual. Bet you're sweaty and all that armor. Well, you can. Wouldn't you rather sweat on me? Any needs, Master? My wife. Run, Roach. Be... 
Greetings, Ibeer. Greetings, Geralt. How might I be of help? What do you have on offer? So long. Something sharpened, reforged. What do you have on offer? So long. How will you make a living? Ah! Run, Roach. Swords. Show me what you have in stock. So long. The 
thinking customer that will see right away up at the best deals this side of the pond. The world's never-ending creation be praised. Craft something for me, would you? Craft something for me, would you? Thanks. So long.
the world's never-ending creation be praised. Craft something for me, would you? Thanks. So long. It is to see you again. Quite the pleasure. What did you bring from Ophir? Mind if I have a look? Take care now. Go, and in the world glory, its never-ending creation be praised. Farewell.